Hey guys, what's up? So big news coming in from Ross Young. Yesterday we had learned from him that the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Plus would have LTPO and 120Hz refresh rate, but it seems like Samsung has other plans. Ross Young is saying that the Galaxy Note 20 won't have LTPO and 120Hz. Instead, it will have LTPS and a 60Hz display, which kind of makes sense. I think Samsung wants to give us a cheaper flagship just like the iPhone 12, as we are hearing the iPhone 12 won't have 120Hz display. You know, with the current situation and all, not many people will be interested in getting a $1000 plus flagship smartphone. So Samsung wants to offer a flagship which is less than $1000 in direct competition to the iPhone 12, which is rumored to get an OLED display this time around from BOE, while Samsung will make the displays for the iPhone 12 Pro model. Models. Also, LTPO is expensive but consumes less power. 120Hz is possible with LTPS but it will consume more power. So that is maybe another reason why Samsung isn't doing it. The Note 20 is bound to have a 4000mAh battery which is kind of small for 120Hz where every other phone with 120Hz display has more than 4000mAh of battery. Tell me in the comment section what according to you would be a fair price for the Galaxy Note 20 provided it doesn't have a 120Hz refresh rate display. I think it should be priced closer to the iPhone 12, the 6.1 inch model which is rumored to come with $750 price range. So maybe around $800 or like the same price would be awesome. Also the Note 20 Plus on the other hand would have LTPO and 120Hz refresh rate. So they are trying to cover every price bracket and the Note 20 would be the cheapest Samsung flagship for the year. Again, what are your thoughts on this? Mention in the comment section. Moving on, we have some info on the Galaxy Fold Lite, the $1100 cheaper foldable phone that Samsung is rumored to be working on. Max Weinbach says that it will be a 4G only device, so no 5G. It will have a base 256GB storage and would come in two color options, mirror black and mirror purple. The display won't have the ultra thin glass as seen on the Galaxy Z Flip, but it will be more like the original Fold. It might have a mix of 20, 18, 19 and 20 parts to meet that cost and most importantly the outside display will probably be smaller like the Z Flip's outer display. Max also mentions that it will be available internationally, have a Snapdragon 865 which he says he is not sure about and even I think so as the Snapdragon 865 comes with a mandatory X55 5G modem so that probably won't happen and it will be made out of glass and aluminum. Ross Young also says that to clear out the Galaxy Fold 1 inventory before the launch of the Fold 2, Samsung would announce a Galaxy Fold Special Edition for $1099 but the quantities would be limited to 55,000 units worldwide and it would look similar to the Fold 1. Most probably it will be the same device with some cosmetic changes. Now what are your opinion about a cheaper Fold like device? Will you pay $1100 for it or would you rather get the Fold Special Edition? If the Fold Lite has a smaller outer display, won't it defeat the whole purpose of having a Galaxy Fold Lite device? Like you won't be able to do a lot on the outer display except to receive calls and maybe check text messages. The device will need to be unfolded every time you want to do anything other than that. That's it for this video. Hit the like button if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, bye bye and stay safe.